Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. Uh, today I am uh, coming, I have come up in this video with a book recommendation. And this book uh, that I am recommending is the book Old Path White Clouds by Thich Nhat Hanh. Right? This is the book. Uh, now Old Path White Clouds, this is the book. It's like a, I think 500-600 pages book. The publisher of this book is Full Circle Publishers. Uh, this book, what this book is based on? This book is based on Buddha's life from his birth to the passing away. Beautiful book in Thich Nhat Hans. So if you have read any of the books of Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, like Miracle of Mindfulness, Pieces Every Step, right? Um, I will cover those books as, as well uh, in further videos. If you like his style of writing, the peace and the calm that you find, you know, the way he writes, Thich Nhat Hanh is uh, the revered Buddhist monk, Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh. Um, my deepest uh, reverence to him uh, for writing this book. Uh, beautiful book and in his own style, peaceful style, he, he has written this book. It's a voluminous book which covers, it's like a narrative, right? It's a narrative. It's a full narrative. Now, this book is for beginners as well as advanced practitioners. That means for a beginner, definitely, if you want to get a sense of Buddha's life, right? There is many books that are available, but this is like very easy to read, right? And even for an advanced practitioner, you know, for an advanced practitioner, it's helpful that to come back to the basics, to come back to Buddha and his life and, you know, small, small knowledge pointers that are there in this book. So that is also a great refresher. So uh, that book you can buy. Uh, now, publisher is Full Circle Books. It is available on Amazon. You can find Old Path, Wild, White Clouds. This book will be available in Amazon. Uh, let me read the back cover. Uh, it says, Old Path, White Clouds present the life and teachings of Gautam Buddha, drawn directly from 24 Pali, Sanskrit and Chinese sources and retold by Thich Nhat Hanh in his inimitably beautiful style this book traces the Buddha's life slowly and gently over the course of 80 years, partly through the eyes of Swasti, the buffalo boy, and partly through the eyes of Buddha himself. Old Path White Clouds is a classic of religious literature. Thich Nhat Han, now the, 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 the uh, introduction of Thich Nhat Han. Thich Nhat Han is a Vietnamese Buddhist monk. His lifelong efforts to generate peace and reconciliation moved Martin Luther King Jr. to nominate him for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1967, he is the founder of Van Ha Buddhist University in Saigon and has taught at Columbia University at Sorbonne. He is the author of Being Peace, Under the Banyan Tree, The Path of Emancipation and 85 other books. And it's a, from an author's afterward, there is a very good quote that is given uh, by Thich Nhat Hanh. I have not avoided including the various difficulties the Buddha encountered both from his own disciples and in relation to the wider society. If the Buddha appears in this book as a man close to us, it is partly due to recounting such difficulties. So, beautiful thing because, you know, in this book, there are several instances where Buddha faced a lot of resistance from his own Sangha in spreading the teachings. A lot of people conspired against him. You know, his own difficulties in, you know, his search for six years, leaving his family behind and, you know, not finding the right guidance, right teacher, then he's on his own sitting for enlightenment. And, you know, so Buddha is like, you know, you don't come across in this book Buddha as some kind of God who has all the powers and, you know, he is like a human being like you and me, right? He has seen suffering and he went to that, that with that one goal that I want to be free from suffering. And that is the reason why many of you, at least I can say about myself, why we have come on the Buddha's path. Because that's the same question in us. So that's very beautifully that is, you know, showing is uh, I carried this book to Sarnath so recently when I visited Sarnath I carried this book to see I read read this book I think 3-4 years back also and that time I was not that much into Buddha's teachings so the first half of the book for me was like okay okay you know lot of I thought lot of rumbling is there sorry for the word you know now I don't consider it as like that it's like a childish kind of a thing uh, a narrative and the later half because see my thing was knowledge I want knowledge so this book is not per se knowledge, knowledge book. It's basically life of Buddha. How people came in his life and you know all these experiences. And the second half of the book is definitely the knowledge point because after his enlightenment, he started sharing the knowledge. But now when I read this book again, each and every uh, word of this book is like music to me. 
because now i'm you know aligned to buddha's knowledge so and i i carried this book to sarnath and i was at the dhummek stoop and uh, there is this garden you know just beside the stoop and i was reading i i meditated and then i had carried this book in a bag and then i read some passages so it was such a beautiful feeling being in the dhammek stoop on that in that place and reading portions of this book right so you can actually carry this book if you if you are traveling to any buddhist site so it, this can be a companion you are with the buddha is with you uh, when when you are you know reading this book right okay uh, there are beautiful artwork so i'm just i wrote, wrote some points that i don't miss see if you see point i don't know whether i can show it's visible so just a second i'm just so this is the place this is like see this right this very beautiful artwork is there on many of the pages right where like buddha is giving here the discourse on the sutra on the full awareness of breathing anapansati sutra like that various beautiful arts arts are there right so this is like one more art piece right this art piece is there so this also is a very good treat to watch right okay you can pick this book and read from any page but first reading i will suggest is read from the beginning to end full beginning to end and then you can just pick up any particular you know you can just read from wherever you want right for the the vibe of the this book is very good okay i'll read two passages of this book uh just a passage uh some of the some of the readers have uh viewers of this channel have asked me to do kind of learnings from this book detailed learnings from this book so presently i am not uh, it's uh, in my content plan makes it difficult to do the detailed chapter wise learnings uh, but i will maybe do in some future but for this but uh, for now i'll just read one passage from this book and this is the there when uh, page 146 where buddha says buddha got the enlightenment and buddha said to the friends ascetic friends five ascetic friends please listen my friends i have found the great way and i will show it to you you will be the first to hear my teaching this dharma is not the result of thinking it's the fruit of direct experience listen serenely with all your awareness the buddha's voice was filled with such spiritual authority that his five friends joined their palms and looked up to him kodanna spoke for, spoke for them all please friend gautama show us the compassion and teach us the way the buddha began began serenely my brothers there are two extremes that a person this is the first sermon right the first sermon the first teaching of the buddha that he gave in sarna there are two extremes that a person on the path should avoid one is to plunge oneself into sensual pleasures and the other is to practice austerities which deprive the body of its needs both of these extremities extremes lead to failure the path i have discovered is the middle way which avoids both extremes and the capacity to lead one to understanding liberation and peace it is the noble eightfold path of right understanding right thought right speech right action right livelihood right effort right mindfulness and right concentration i have followed this noble eightfold path and have and have realized understanding liberation and peace okay so this is this much i will only say otherwise this video i will keep on going and going uh it's a beautiful uh, passage so this is the book old path white clouds by thiknath han do check out this book and uh, it's uh, it can be a useful collection in your uh, buddhist books uh, library and uh, not only collection also do read it and uh, it's a it's a very good book so i hope this video was useful and uh, do do share with me your thoughts reflections and comments have you read this have you read this book what has been your reflection do share that thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaya namo buddhaya